Hello and welcome to another video from Humbrol showing you how to use our new range of weathering powders. In this video we'll be taking a look at applying some weathering to this railroad series 08 class diesel locomotive from Hornby. Being part of the railroad series this is a budget locomotive with limited detailing. However we're going to show you how some simple weathering techniques can really improve the looks of a locomotive such as this. In preparation for the weathering Humbrol acrylic spray varnish in matte effect has been sprayed over the factory satin finish replacing it with this perfectly flat surface on which all of the weathering powders will be applied. Humbrol matte coat thinned with Humbrol enamel thinners will be used as a carrier for the weathering powders in the techniques that we're showing in this video. So to begin with a mixture of 50-50 matte coat and thinners is made up and then painted onto the surface of the locomotive. We're going to start at this end of the locomotive as the colour scheme here will offer the best contrast against the rusting effects that we're going to do first. With a nice even layer of the matte coat mixture painted onto the surface of the model, the remaining matte coat is mixed with dark earth, rust and iron oxide weathering powders from the Humbrol range. The resulting weathering powder wash is then tapped into the wet varnish on the surface of the locomotive. When the two wet mixtures meet, you'll see that rather than leaving blobs of stark colour on the surface, the weathering powder mixture seeps into the wet matte coat, giving the impression of rust that has bled through the paint over time. To enhance this effect further, taking a brush moistened with just Humbrol enamel thinners and tapping it into the mixture while it's still wet will further feather the edges of the small amount of weathering powder that you've applied. When it's dried, a brush moistened with Humbrol enamel thinners will reactivate the weathering powder mixture, enabling you to move the weathering powders around. This can give some directional streaking, representing rust that's run in the rain. By diluting a much thinner mixture of matte coat and weathering powders, we can model dirt and grime which is built up in the recesses of the locomotive by flowing it in as a conventional wash. This not only serves to weather the locomotive, but also helps to enhance the raised details and make everything stand out a little bit more. By applying this wash into a layer of wet varnish as we did with the initial rusting technique, you can also blend in the rust colours with the colour of the locomotive underneath to give the impression of dust build up and also using some vertical streaks to give the impression of grime which has washed down the side of the loco. Moving further round to the business end of the locomotive, the same technique is going to be used on the sides and front of the vehicle, only with a slight change in the tone of wash that's being applied. This is quite a dark mixture which has been made from mixing 50-50 dark earth with the smoke coloured weathering powder. A lot of different colours can be achieved by mixing the washes on the surface of the model and this helps to break up the monotony of the finish. When the wash is dry, you can go back in with a brush moistened with thinners and manipulate them to take away any watermark edges and also add in some vertical streaking. Remember not to leave it too long before you attempt this step, as if you leave the matte coat washes to harden fully, it will be very difficult to manipulate them afterwards. The running gear on a locomotive needs careful thought when weathering. Take extra care not to run any varnish into any of the moving parts, but don't neglect them completely. These bright yellow conrods look a lot better with a splash of rust added to them, using the same technique that we showed you earlier. Now that we've applied all of the washes to the upper portions of the locomotive, it's time to dust off the running gear now and tie everything together. The same rust, iron oxide and dark earth shades of weathering powder are applied dry with a paintbrush to the lower half of the locomotive. By applying the weathering powders in this fashion to only the lower half of the locomotive, we're able to blend all of the different visual elements together and incorporate a much more diverse finish than by using one weathering technique alone. Just remember to keep the contacts on the back of the wheels free of any weathering powder or varnish to avoid damaging your locomotive. 
To fix those weathering powders down and make them resilient to handling, a light misting of Humbol acrylic spray varnish is applied at a distance of about 60 cm whilst rapidly shaking the can. Some overspray may get onto the wheels of your loco and this could interfere with contact with the track. A cotton bud moistened with thinners will clean off any overspray. And off goes our Railroad Series Diesel 08 looking all the better for a spot of weathering. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again next time.